All right. So hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Destiny 2 Warmind campaign, where we are already on the last mission, I believe, given what I remember of the strike. So... Yeah, this was a very quick campaign. I think that might be part of the reason why I found it so... Disappointing, I guess? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things here that could be expanded on, right? Like the whole, is Rasputin up to fighting an actual Hive God? And what does that say about the power of the Hive Gods, right? And like this... Because the Hive Gods are paracausal. They're basically magic. Whereas Rasputin, uh, less so, unless he is actually... Zol is tearing apart Rasputin's neural huh. network. And if he does enough damage, he could trigger a chain reaction that will devastate Mars. That would suck. All I know is we have one advantage left. The Valkyrie. I'll never trust Rasputin, but we'll need every weapon we have to stop Zol. Even one that's powered by a war mind. Yeah, but how is it powered, though? Like, I kind of want more details on this kind of information, because also that's not... Well, I was going to say that's not how neural networks work, but yeah, they might not be referring to a mathematical neural network versus a actual, like, thing made of neurons kind of neural network, you know? Which itself would raise other questions. Huh. Yeah, how did they make Rasputin? Are we talking just like... Circuits in silicon and... Huh. Well, there's an interesting idea. So we know that somehow, Vex are involved in the Deepstone Crypt, which is where Exos were made, we think. If we overload Rasputin's huh. core, we can use the excess energy to overcharge the Valkyrie. I think that's mm, only speculation. really hurting Zol. Speculation that probably is yeah, discounted in other lore entries somewhere elsewhere, and therefore doesn't really matter. Focus on what's in front of us instead of thinking about... Yeah, I'll get around that. Surprised you even need cooling vents, honestly. Well, I guess... I was gonna say, like, you guys are on the ice caps of Mars. I figure it's pretty cold here, but. Yeah. Oh, sweetie, that's adorable, but no. There's like six of them trying to get at me. Oh, cute. Anyway. As cute as those little thrall were. Hmm. It's probably bad. That's fine. Uh, it's fine, Stephen Fry, or wherever you actually are. I'd have to listen to it again, but it's a similar accent at the very least. And... Hey, 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 stop running away. Oh, right. I have to actually... Well, that was stupid of me. Yeah, just let this drain out. Stupid. Anyway. Check it. Oh, no. With the inhibitor offline, the neural network is going crazy. I mean, that's how things work. With the inhibitor down, the inhibitions are down! I mean, like... Yeah! It all checks out. Like, the limits... Like, here's the thing. Limits on most technology is so that the technology, you know, survives and doesn't just burn out right away. There's all this talk of, like, just disable the limiters. It's fine. It's like... No, dude, that's a bad plan. Simply poor decision. Neural net is online and ready. Now for the inhibitor vent. 
Yeah, about that. Hey! How's it going? Uh, do you want to undo the vent for me real quick? Okay, fine. The inhibitor vent is open. Oh, thank you. Wow, that's a bit of a mess. There we go. No real excuses for that. Hmm. What kind of power source does this thing uh, pack, by the way? Just out of curiosity. We'll assume it's some form of fusion energy. But I don't know much about the Golden Age, so who could say? Yeah, given the connection of the Deepstone Crypt to the Vex, I wonder how much of humanity's Golden Age is based on Vex tech. Huh. I wonder, and am concerned, but we move forward. And we don't have evidence for any of this yet, obviously, so... Eh. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, I'm just not very compelled by this whole, like, forging a new Valkyrie by overloading the power core thing. It's not... It's just not compelling, is the problem. Like, fundamentally, there's so many more interesting questions to ask, given that, you know, Rasputin exists and is of questionable living status. Yep, right on it. I also think the old Valkyrie looked pretty cool, but this is pretty all right, too. And your senses are crap. What even is that? Judging hmm. with power beyond what I can comprehend. I'm like, you're a ghost, you face down gods. And some AI managed to make a javelin that's way too strong? That just seems, I don't know. Like the power levels are all skewed here. I've never seen anything so powerful. Be careful. We'll do. Sup? How's things? Hmm, can I one phase you? Probably not. Not with the setup I've got right now. Although I can do some damage. Oh no. Dos. Tres. No. Tres. And bam. Load. Nope. Come on, open the mouth. There we go. Ah, bother. A few wasted shots, but we did pretty good damage. I'm pretty okay with that. I think that's respectable. Bit of an asshole move there, but okay. Yeah, this is literally just like a weaker version of the. Oh, never mind. Uh, oop, 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 oop. I was gonna say weaker version of the. Holy shit! Strike. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that's a little more fun. All right, all right. You have my respect there. Yeah. Okay, this is actually kind of a fun fight. Auxiliary power has been activated. Get to a note. Power of the javelin. On it. Keep fighting. I would love to. Hey. Yeah. 
Take that, javelin straight to the throat. Oh, whoops. Oh wait, why am I this close to you? Whoa, no, no, no. Okay. I'm used to the uh, Zol only getting like two phases out. It's actually a little bit of fun. But I think it's time to end this. I've seen enough. Oh, let's do this for thematic reasons. And there we go. <laughs> I did. I'm amazing. It was mostly me. Hmm. Questionable that, but okay. Are we really a good team? Are we really a team at all? I would question both of these things. Oh? So... How's things? Not so mad about that stuff in the Cosmodrome, are you? No? Cool. He might be a little bit mad. I don't know. Can't tell. Hard to read an AI. Look, javelin nodes. All over the place. That's not threatening at all. Ooh, and a war sat there. Neat. family shaped me to be an all-seeing savior while your vanguard sought to wield me as a primitive weapon but today that ends and I define the reality of my own existence Oh. My sight will stretch to the edge of this system and beyond. That's a very weird setup Never for a launch. Go From this day forward, like a launch setup. Humanity on my own terms. Mm. I am Rasputin, guardian of all I survey. I have no equal. What have we done? Hmm. Don't worry. We've got this. Uh. Spoilers, they don't got this. <laughs> oh, but yes. Oh, dear. Still, that was a little bit of fun. Um, easily the worst of the campaigns. Like, at no point was I compelled by any of that. And you had such an interesting concept with Rasputin that it just doesn't... He was barely involved at any point. There's no explanation of the war mine. There's, like, no... None of the interesting things are there. I'm probably going to do this event later. Uh, if I remember right, it said something about... Yeah, don't worry, I'm not going to go in there. Oh, we will. Just the let them have it. It's up. fine. The hive are sending an ogre. Also, it's we'll done. It. Okay. Ogre down. War sat clear. I contributed All nothing. Great job out there. Anyway, I imagine I'm supposed to talk with you? Possibly? Really go for some ramen right about now. Uh-huh. Are you familiar with the phrase, be careful what you wish for? Yeah. No. It's something Actually. that's been running through my head since watching Rasputin launch a brand new Warsat network under his sole control. Oh. I should be afraid. Any rational person would be. He wasn't in control before? I'm not. I know without a question 
that no matter what comes next, we can face it together. That's a little worrisome. I do not share your enthusiasm, but... Oh well. There's apparently another part of the quest. I mean, don't call me out there. Oh, Zavala. Well, real quick. Since we are at the end of this... Huh. Yeah, I mean... I guess it introduces the character of Anastasia Bray, and there were a bunch of, like, short stories that were kind of interesting tied to this, and the season of the... Uh, Worthy slash Dawn? I don't remember which season Rasputin was involved in. But, yeah, I feel like this whole concept was kind of wasted. Or at least a lot of it was. I don't know, we'll see what happens with Beyond Light and the time after that, but... Yeah. Also, again, that thing in the war. I don't remember if I mentioned it multiple times before, but... It looks an awful lot kind of like the, uh... The Heart in the Black Garden, and I am deeply uncomfortable with that, so... Mm, oh well. It's probably nothing. Probably. Maybe not, but probably yes. Mm. We shall learn. The traveler's light has illuminated a path into a world of immense change. But the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. How we choose to navigate that path, that will define us for years to come. But in all this uncertainty, one thing has never wavered. And that is my faith that you are the one who will lead the way forward. Hmm. I feel like your faith is going to start wavering later, but okay. All right, my weeklies. Ugh. But that is all for now. Those are the only campaigns that are disappearing, so those are the only ones I'm doing right now. Uh, we'll be doing the Beyond Light campaign as well, and... Well, Shadowkeep as well, because that's fairly easy to do. And eventually Forsaken too, if I want to, you know, just feel bad for a little bit. But, for now, thank you all for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.